Hey guys, it's Rob and I'm just doing a follow-up on this uh, 33 year old craft radio. Just recently I picked up a couple of the uh, Corona synthesized receivers on uh, 40 megahertz and uh, this is a single conversion receiver, the RP6S1 and uh, to be honest I didn't like it. It um, causes a lot of jittering on the servos and uh, it only range checked out to about 150 meters so I, uh, I'm not prepared to try that in an aircraft. I'll just take it out of the inventory altogether I think. The, uh, the two dual conversion receivers, they seem much better. This is the uh, RP6D1, and you'll see the little red light indicates that it's tuned to the, the transmitter at the moment. Um, and the RP8D1, that's a nine channel receiver, also tuned to this radio at the moment. What I'll do is I'll just put the, um, put the throttle servo in my hand. The one on the left is to the 9 channel and the one on the right is to the 6 channel receiver and you'll see that they they both follow the throttle movement fairly well but one advantage of these new synthesized receivers is you can set a fail safe so if I turn off the radio you'll see the throttle move to the fail safe position turning it on and it instantly comes back so that's one really nice feature. I also did a um, walk range check of these two receivers beside the uh, the original craft receiver. The craft was solid out to about 700 meters. After that, it started to uh, cause the servos to jitter. At one kilometer, they were probably jittering 80% of the time. This uh, nine channel Corona was absolutely jitter free to one kilometer. It still had great um, functionality at one kilometer. There was no flickering of the light at all. And uh, yeah, what can I say? It just seems uh, bulletproof. The six channel receiver also worked out to one kilometer and uh, controls the servos nicely. That's the Aaron servo. But just, it seems to have just the slightest little bit of jitter on the servos. And I don't know why the six channel one does and the eight channel one doesn't, but um, I've tried different combinations of servos just to try and eliminate maybe interference from a bad servo but uh, it's definitely the receiver that causes just a very, very slight jittering. And it uh, doesn't seem to affect the movement when it's controlled by the transmitter, but um, if you just hold that servo, I can just feel that motor pulsing a little bit. And there's just a little bit of movement you might be able to see there. Just not sure why that is, but uh, yeah, I probably won't use this uh, receiver in an aircraft either, just because of that little bit of glitching. They call me overcautious, but um, unless it's 100% perfect, I don't want to use it. This one, um, it's got my vote of confidence. It seems to work really well. Range tests nicely. Absolutely no glitching or jitter or anything like that. And uh, yeah, it drives the servos nicely. So I'll probably put that in a uh, in an aircraft in the next couple of weeks and um, take it for a test fly. So thanks for watching.